What up YouTube, it's your boy Turok. Long time no see. It's been two months on my last upload, so I've been wanting to post this so bad. On this video, I have Botan from the series Yu Yu Hakusho, and it's arguably in the best anime of all time. I said arguably, don't go at me. In this video, I decided to spice it up some stuff. So I did use, of course, the Copic markers, Prisma markers, Cow and Dash, color pencils, Prisma color pencils, I did use paint this time as well for the background. And you start off on every drawing like I always say, you know, you sketch it out first. And obviously you want to use a pencil. Uh, I do recommend an H pencil or an HB pencil for sketching it out first. Once you have it all sketched out, outline it with some uh, ink markers. You could actually use a gel pen a Copic ink pen, a Faber-Castell ink pen works fine as well. You could also use a inking dipping pen if it's more comfortable for you. Uh, I actually have tried it once with a drawing. It does come out really neat for them manga panels type of art color spreads. So very handy. Next step after inking obviously is the coloring in the art project you have. What I do recommend for a realism or even hyper realism drawing is use a copic marker for the base color so for example if you're coloring something that's red color it with a marker the lightest red you have and then slowly transition markers to color pencils so as you see here in this part of the video i am coloring photons kimono and in this case it's pink so you see me here use copic markers as its base and i slowly transition from light to dark with markers once I'm done with the markers, next step I do is usually move forward to the color pencils, which could be the Faber-Castells, or the Cower and Dads, or in this case, Prisma. Same process with just as the markers, you want to go from light to dark with the color pencils over the marker. So like, perfect example what you're watching right now. Markers are first, light to dark, and then after I'm done with markers, I move on to the pencils from light to dark, and you guys are gonna slowly see how beautiful it transitions. It's just smooth. I do get lots of questions of how, which colors you should be using because of the large variety of colors that are. Honestly, that is a tricky question. I do recommend you to do your research. Uh, color pencils could look deceiving. You know, you could say, oh, I'm choosing this color. And in reality, it's not that color. It could be lighter. It could be darker. Go online and do your research. Make sure you actually choose the right colors. Uh, take your time in deciding which colors you're actually using, because that is a huge factor in realism, especially hyper realism. And same goes for in art in general. I always say this and I will always repeat this. Take your time, please. You cannot rush art. Art is meant to be taken patiently. You cannot make art by rushing it because you know you're just gonna ruin it. So after you're done coloring the clothes, the hair, the robe, and the next part of the video, you'll see me tape in Botan. So for example, I will get a tracing sheet, kind of trace out Botan in the drawing I have, and then use a stencil knife and slowly and carefully cut out Botan's body, a uh, whole body. After I cut out the body, I use special uh, Play-Doh, I guess you could say, and I stick it into Botan and I put the tracing paper on top. Also important to tape off what you don't want to paint over. Uh, for this reason, it's because I will be painting over the background and which is the reason why I am putting a tracing paper on top of Botan because obviously you don't want to paint over a drawing you just did. Once you have everything ready, you spray paint the background, put some stencils in there to make some flashy backgrounds, backgrounds, if that makes sense, and you're done. You know, you're, you're gonna have a good drawing. There's always an easier solution to do art, guys. It's just hard to kind of master it, but they're there. Which practice makes perfect. You should not give up, take your time. I tell you guys from experience, I've never thought I'll be this good at art. And to be honest, I surprise myself every day and get better every day. And I only, you know, I'm still going to get better. 
not a brag, but you know, it's always good to have that mentality in you, uh, have confidence in yourself, and just go for it, you know? Don't let no one stop you. And just like that, guys, you'll have a drawing. Uh, I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys are actually still listening to this, you guys are a legend. Thank you so much. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. And until then, we'll see how God knows when I'll upload next. But I wish you guys good luck. Keep trying. And you just do you, man. Lates.